Okay, where to now? Tyon, look! Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The Founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros? That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the queens, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real queens. Yes, real queens! I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that, I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So... When the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here? The way they live their lives? That could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too? Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. 
I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so precious. Shiana, or Shania, even. More walking to do? This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. Single Mobius warning level? Okay. There's been changes to colony relations. Interesting. Very different. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. This is the dorm for young lost number soldiers. You can sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask that guy about your rooms. Oh, and sadly there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat at the Machiba Canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land over there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow we have a lot to discuss. Agreed. How sure we range that. Meet me in the Lost Numbers War Room. It's the place down the lift from near the Praetorium Hill where we passed on the way here. I'll let you know closer to the time. Praetorium? Really? Okay. It's making me think of Xenoid 2 now. Oh, and before I forget, you're free to explore a city as you will. Is that really okay? I said we weren't hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Explore it later. Rooms are ready for you now. How about getting some rest? N, you say? You know him? I know of him, definitely. He's been a real thorn in the city's side. Sounds rough. He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Oh. Huh. Why bring him up? Uh, well, no reason. Hmm? What's wrong? Is it something Monica said? Is there a problem? No. Don't worry about it. It's just a passing thought. Yeah? Oh, I got some news earlier. We're not sleeping in tomorrow. Our briefing starts early. Get some rest while you can. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Good night.
Nej. Wow, soft beds are really comfy. Who knew? Fairly sure you've always slept well, even in sleeping bags. Same. You lot, weren't you even a little nervous? Clearly you were nervous enough for us, all of us, judging by those, those dark circles under your eyes. You couldn't just meekly go to sleep after getting here and processing all that information. That sounds more like excitement than nerves, if you ask me. Well, it looks like last night's jumble of information will be sorted out in the world room. Right. We should probably start making a move over to the world room, then. Right, agreed. Monica said, you take the lift down from the from near the Praetorian's Hill, right? That's the Sword's Hilt Guard. All the way there, huh? Okay then. Yep. I'm not quite ready to talk to literally everyone in the city. <laughs> There's a lot of people, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people. <laughs> we'll get to that in due time, just not right away. I think we can take that elevator down to the war room. I think so too. We'll to another level. Been a while since my last war council. Hope this isn't one of the boring ones. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'm expecting lots of lore dump. Okay then. Sneaking into Agnes Castle, huh? Seems we won't be catching a break anytime soon. So this person who knows where the true queens are? Uh, who was it again? You're looking for Gondor. Ah, that's right. So then, we've just got to find this Gondor, break him out of the prison camp and get the spark out of there. Hmm. Luckily, they don't kill us immediately after we've been captured. We're held beneath the castle, in a detention facility. To perform forced labor? There's that as well. But mostly, it's to set an example. Example? On the day of an eclipse, once a year, they hold a mass execution of prisoners at Hope's Rest, a hill on the castle's south edge. The whole event gets projected high into the sky. That's what you meant. It's to show us we're powerless. And the place they do this is Hope's Rest. What kind of sick joke is that? The next eclipse falls about a month from now. So that's our deadline for what we've got to do. Contact the prisoner and get the intel on the Queens. A month? Mio. Well, no two ways about it. We better get started now. Yeah, and we better hurry. We can't waste a single day. Let's say we make it in without a hitch. Won't the you know what give us away? Uni, I don't think we do know. The red glowing Mobius eye thing. Oh, bad. Those eye patches I gave you? There's a special alloy embedded in them. 
long as you got that, you'll be near invisible. Slip clean under their noses. And after we've got the info, how do we get out? You've put the Kavesi Annihilator out of commission. I'm sure you'll think of something. Even if we get out, what about your lot? You don't need to worry about them. They knew the risk. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, well, that's how we do things. But still... I'll tell you to be prepared to make sacrifices. All right. Huh? However, only as our absolute last resort. Is that fair? That's awfully kind of you. The kind doesn't win wars. There's a knock-on called Samon in engineering. He'll be able to find you a way into the castle. Get the details from him. Mr. Salmon's engineering department? Go down a lift near Dolgan Cliff and you'll find it in no time. It's the big lift you took to get up here. You know the one. Right. Oh, that's it. Ciao. Oh, what? You're not gonna show us the way? There's a strategy meeting we have to be at, discussing what to do after the infiltration. Oh, you're infiltrating the prison too? Well, it was originally our plan. Let's see. Looking forward to working with you then. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna be all buddy buddy with you. Well, wow, what crawled up his arse? Look at it from their perspective. We essentially took the Orboros powers that were originally intended for them. But. What does that have to do with any of this? We'll just play our part for now. We should head to engineering.